Hello students. In the previous uh, videos, we have gone through the DH parameter, assignment of coherent system, and derivation of link transformation matrix. So in this session, we will go through uh, some of one solution uh, which help you to understand DH parameter, coherent system, and link transformation matrix. Again, our reference uh, book will be Introduction to Robotics by John Craig. So in this session, we will solve this particular example where we have one 3 degree of freedom robot which is moving in a plane only. So you can consider the screen is a plane in which this three link will be moving. So we have one is base frame where we assign our coordinate system number zero always. Then we will be having this first joint, second joint and third joint. Link length will be L1, L2, L3 and theta1, theta2, theta3 are relative rotation of all these joints. Also we can consider one point at the end of the link which can be our tool point. So at the base or fixed uh, location we can have global coordinate system which we represent by 0. So we have x0, y0. Now for this particular example, z axis will be perpendicular to this particular plane or we can say they perpendicular to the screen. And link length are shown as L1, L2, L3. Now let us assign z axis first. So at this location, our first joint is assembled with the fixed link. So this can be our first joint or let, you can say as a coordinate system number one. So we have coordinate system 0 which is fixed frame and coordinate system number 1 will be coincident. You can assign coordinate system number 2 at the second joint assembly. Then coordinate system number 3 at the location of the third joint assembly. And location of tool point which is the end of the link will be given by point number 4. Now as coordinate system 0 and 1 is coincident that means we have attached our joint number 1 onto the table or you can say as a fixed base. We have axis Z0 and Z1 at the same location. Again remember that all the Z axis for this example will be parallel and perpendicular to screen. At joint number 2 we have axis Z2 and joint number 3 we have axis Z3. So Z1, Z2, Z3 these three Z axis are parallel and perpendicular to the screen. Now to assign X axis we need to identify link length and link length is given by distance perpendicular distance between two Z axis. So in our example this length L1 is a perpendicular distance between axis Z1 and Z2 so this will be our link length. Second, we have axis Z2 and Z3. So length L2 will be again perpendicular between Z2 and Z3. So this will work as a link length. Hence, we will assign axis X1 along the length L1 that is along link length. Next, we assign axis X2 will be along L2 that is the link length. Now joint number 3 is the last joint and it is revolved joint. So axis X3 will be assigned in such a way that it is showing the rotation theta 3. Now let us uh, prepare TS table. Now this TS table will be the tabulated format of showing all four link parameter that is dh parameter. So here we will assign link length a, link twist alpha, joint offset d and joint angle theta. Let us focus on joint number 1. Now coordinate system 0 and 1 coincident hence there will not be link length so this value is 0. Both the z axis are coincident so there is no link twist so this length uh, this angle will be 0. This joint is of revolute type, hence we don't have any offset, 
so joint opposite or link opposite will be zero and we can represent the rotation theta 1 for the joint number 1 now for joint number 2 we have link length l1 which is showing the perpendicular distance between z1 and z2 so for joint number 2 l1 will become link length as z1 z2 are parallel so link twist will be zero joint number 2 is of revolute type rotating joint so joint offset will be zero and we represent rotation theta 2 then for the joint number 3 we have link length which is represented by distance l2 so it will be written in the column of a z2 z3 are parallel so there is no link twist so this value will be zero again joint 3 is of revolute type the joint offset d will be zero and we represent rotation theta 3 rotation angle by variable theta 3 now this point 4 is another end of the third link so as such it is not a coordinate system it is only point of our interest whose location may be interest of us so we would only translate from number 3 to number 4 by distance l3 and this distance l3 is along axis x3 and as per our definition of link length we uh, we assign link length or we assign axis x towards the link length so we will put distance l3 in the column of link length so for point joint number 4 or you can say the point number 4 l3 will be in the column of link length because we are assigning x x3 axis and distance l3 is along x3 axis but as it is only point so other values are zero now in previous session we have derived this transformation matrix which is related to transformation of joint i with respect to i minus 1 so we can prepare such transformation matrix for all the joints that is 1 2 3 and also for point number 4 so we have to substitute value in this matrix from dh parameter so for joint 1 we have theta 1 and using this matrix we have cos theta 1 minus sin theta 1 0 sin theta 1 cos theta 1 0 0 0 1 so this orientation part of this 4 by 4 homogeneous matrix we can say it is rotation about z1 axis now for joint number 2 we have link length l1 and joint angle theta 2 so similarly if you look at this matrix we have orientation which is rotation about z axis z2 axis by angle theta 2 and we can say that our axis 2 is translated from axis 1 by distance l1 in x, along x1 axis similarly for joint number 3 we have variable theta 3 and link length l2 so again this orientation will we can say that it is rotation about z3 by angle theta 3 and coordinate system 3 translated by distance l2 along x2 axis from coordinate system number 2 now as point number 4 is only point we have to do only translation along x3 so this rotation part will be identity matrix and we have translation of l3 along x3 axis now multiplying all this matrix together we can have 0 t4 which represent transformation of point with respect to our reference coordinate system 0 which is given by this particular matrix